So welcome back to Cafe Racer Garage. I'm Dan and this video is going to be a little bit different. I have a few loose ends I need to sort out on both builds, the CX500 and the CB750. Uh, the CB750 needs the rear sets fixed as well as the side stand. And the CX500, I've got to sort something out with the front end. It, uh, it, would, it appears that the front uh, handlebars are twisted or the front is not aligned properly. <laughs> So with the CB750 build, there's a few little odd jobs that I've just been meaning to do uh, and I haven't gotten around to yet. So I'm going to get those done in this video. Uh, the first one, one of the things I need to do is put this foot, which is just taped on here, onto the bottom of this. I need to put the bike on the ground to do that just so I know exactly the angle it's going to be. And the other one is the selector, the rear sets here that I mounted. Um, I'll show you something that you may know or you may not know. Uh, it's something that I made a mistake with, so I'll show you what I did. So if you take a close look here, you'll see right about there, there's a, like a little indication mark, and there's also one there. And I know that most of these manufacturers put these indication marks on these things, but even though I knew that, I still made the mistake and still put this thing almost 180 degrees out. It was all covered in grease. I've just recently degreased it and hosed it down and let it dry, and now I can clearly see those things. So when I first did this, I tried to get this guy here pretty much nice and in line and everything nice, like I guess to look aesthetically pleasing. Um, but unfortunately it's in completely the wrong direction. So uh, something now I'm gonna fix and obviously make a new one of these. But I I felt like a bit of an idiot after I did it. Um, but I figured if I don't show my mistakes, then it's probably not gonna help you. So I'd rather show you my mistake and hopefully in the process you'll not make the same mistake. recommend is if you're going to cut any thread is to pretty much put a nut on and then cut against the nut so you have a perfectly straight line otherwise you'll just have trouble trying to get a nut on it unfortunately I don't have a reverse nut and this is a reverse thread I do have the reverse die when I made this so what I'll do is I'll just cut it with a hacksaw and then pretty much put the reverse die over the first part of the thread so that I know that that ball joint's going to go on nicely too concerned about obviously the sand marks that I've made here I just had to get rid of those uh, the teeth marks from the bench vise uh, once this bike is completely pulled to pieces then all those little bits and pieces are going to go to either anodizing or powder coating paint whatever so that's not really a big concern for now but it does look pretty damn cool because it goes across follows the bottom plate and then pretty much just kinks up which is perfect so it'll be all nice and discreet and nice and neat I guess um, but it works perfectly, so at the moment we should be in first gear, I would say. Yep. And then if I just go tiny little, there we go, we're in neutral and then obviously the rest of the gears are up. Oh, there we go. So, it all works. It's going fine um, and I'm happy with obviously this. I do have still a little bit of adjustment here. I have a little bit of adjustment here. Um, and the worst case scenario, I could obviously take that off and just you know, a couple of notches and I'll have a bit more adjustment as well, but I don't think I need it. That's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty even with the other side, so I'm happy with that. So this being a CB750, I changed the tank on this bike to a CB650, uh, different year model and everything. And these are the mounting points. As you can see, these are the original ones down here, uh, which I've chopped off and I've moved it up just in to try and line it up to exactly where I want it. But I never ended up finishing welding these. So I'll just do that now that I have the MIG set up. Um, I'll just run a bit of a bead around that on both sides and that'll fix that in place. And I won't have to worry about that later. So 
I've just spent some time taking the handlebars off this and also undoing the nut uh, that actually holds the steering stem on and also the triple clamp here on both sides and also um, the axle and the calipers. And the reason I've done that, and you can probably see a string line that I've got running across here, because someone mentioned in the video that I recently did with the first, I guess it's the first like test ride of this bike, uh, you can see one side of the left handlebars a lot more than you can see the right. And it made me realize that something's not right, something's twisted, and I wanted to get to the bottom of it and find out exactly what it was. It wasn't noticeable on the ride, but it's definitely noticeable in the video. So what I've done is, like I said, I've undone all that and I've shaken this whole system down to try and figure out if it's actually the, um, obviously the forks that have been twisted and I've done them up in a wrong order, which has caused them to twist, which it wasn't that. And how I know is because I've taken the handlebars off. So you can see the handlebars sitting on this table at the moment. The actual table that it's sitting on, this is obviously MDF board that's over the top, but this is a table saw. So the tabletop that it's sitting on is completely flat. I know that for a fact, but just for argument's sake, I've tried it on this. I've tried it on the kitchen bench inside and I'll show you what's going on. Can you see that? Once this is flat, this section here is flat. These two need to be obviously touching or if not the same gaps and it's not. And that's exactly the difference. So that's actually why it's twisted in the video. Uh, I'm glad I found this. I just want to say thank you to the guy that commented on this because I hadn't noticed it. Uh, I'll leave his comment just on the screen here. So thank you so much. Uh, as you can see, like I did, three different comparison tests, um, three different surfaces, and it's the same result. And it's just this end, which is obviously twisted, or that end, which is twisted, I don't know. So it's not a big deal, but it is something that if I try and straighten these, I'm probably going to make it worse. So I think I'll just throw them in the bin and put another set on. Um, I may even look at a different set. I'm not sure yet. See how we go. Um, but you know, like, like I said, it's not a big deal. It's just something that I noticed and I wanted to find out what it was. So if you do have a twist uh, in your handlebars, uh, this is the way to do it. Just put it, something, put it on something flat, kitchen bench or you know a flat plate of some sort, and then just do the little test like this and just see if one end is you know, not even to the other. And you're done. So if you're suspect on your bike crabbing right now, if it's actually riding like this, or the handlebars, you think they might be twisted, I showed you the way to check your handlebars. Um, but the other way is to make sure your front end is aligned. Uh, pretty much leave these top triple clamp, leave that alone, leave this clamp here and the one on the other side as is. There's a nut pretty much that does the steering stem, the top nut, just the very, very top, basically the nut. Like if I explain it on this one, just this nut here. Don't worry about the ones underneath it, just the top one here, just loosen that. It's sort of hard to see uh, under here for this one. So basically undo that nut and then come down and the bottom triple clamp, just undo your clamp nuts there. Don't undo them completely, just loosen them on both sides and then come down and undo your axle bolt or nut, sorry, undo your axle nut, your calipers, just to free up the front end. And then pretty much get on the bike and just jump up and down. Jump up and down so these forks are gonna go up and down in their motion. And then don't touch the bike, leave it as is, and then come back and start doing everything back up again. Just start, like, start doing up all these clamps for the calipers, the axle, the bottom triple clamp, and then obviously your top nut. And that's it, leave it. Once you've done that, the bike should be uh, running true, should be straight shouldn't be any problems. As long as the bike's sitting pretty much level, uh, you know, and there's no dramas with that, then the bike should be fine. That's uh, how you do the front forks. Now, if that is done and you've done your, uh, checked your handlebars and they're not bent, then you may have some other issue. I'm not too sure how to dive into it further. I do know you have an adjustment on some bikes back here to get the back wheel to run true as well. So that is another thing to check if you haven't already checked that before you started everything else. So hopefully that video was useful to you. Uh, I know this was a bit of a bits of video. It's in those bits and pieces from different bikes, but if you are building a bike, then this sort of information is something that you may want to know. So hopefully it helped you. Have an amazing day and I'll chat with you in the next video.